have to introduce me? I have to introduce myself on your show? Yes! Eric Corvus. Yeah, him. He's a, that's why I said Eric Corvus. He even has it on your shirt and everything. Oh, I'm so excited because I've known him for like ever and stuff. 19 and years. Has it really been 19? Almost 20. I want to say it's been like 20. Mm, May 20th of 2001 was my first day of training. Have I thought you were going to say that? Mm -hmm. No? I made one on the first day of training. Okay, yeah. So then, well, we've known each other for like ever. On that exact specific date. I don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing. I mean, I think it's a good thing. I don't know how you feel because you said that to me. So anyway, awesome. So question of the day is, what's in your wrestling bag? What is in my wrestling bag? Well, it might be a little bit boring today, but we can still check it out. Uh, first thing is uh, I lock my bag because wrestlers can be mean. Ooh. And I don't like to get ripped. Oh, that's always fun. I was at ECPW show with Nicholas K years ago and somebody filled up my bag with salt and pepper. <laughs> Like, it could have been worse, but still. Like, wait, how much salt and pepper? Enough that it was inconvenient. <laughs> did we know who that was? And did they say why they did it or just to be it? I believe it was Andrew Anderson and uh, Jersey Devil. <laughs> I'm not kidding. At least you found out. Did you even well, that? I, I have the majority of my gear already on. All right. So these are, like, my street clothes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do we have to look at each one of them individually? Sure. All so right. why do you wear these as your street clothes? Well, this is, uh... This is a, a Green Lantern-esque shirt. This yes. represents death. Uh, Green Lantern's my favorite superhero. And it's long sleeve. It is long sleeve because it is a little chipper out today. Chipper out. So wait, so you're wearing wrestling boots. I'm wearing boxing boots. Boxing today. boots. Yeah. Why? Because I wear boxing boots when I know we're going to be on an outdoor show and I'm going to be walking through grass. I don't want to mess up like my good $200, $300 wrestling boots. Oh, that's so smart. So I have a, a pair for... Oh, they get beat up a little so bit. So what happens when, if you go to a show and it's an outside show and you didn't know it's an outside show? Like, I mean, okay, do you always carry them both with you? Oh, well, I knew today was going to be an outdoor show, so right. I only brought these. But if I'm not sure, then I'll pack two or three different pairs of boots. Oh, smart, smart, smart. And these are just some gray jeans. Gray, white car gray. Cargo pants. Well, because I thought I could switch it up. Everything, everybody wears black in wrestling, so I Very figured true. I'd switch it up. All right, so then what's, what's this? Uh, those are just little pouches with little like accessories. That is my uh, my beard, beard bomb. Oh, and all the, if all I the things shape it. to take care of your beard. Mm -hmm. There's also some gigs in there, just in case. You never know when you have to bleed. So, makes sense. Oh, and a necklace and a gig. So why? Yeah. Why do, why, why do you put them in a bag? In a it's bag actually not, not as much for me as it is like you go to a show and I, I've heard countless times, does anybody have any gigs? I can make one out of that in about five minutes. So. Oh, smart, smart, and it's safe in a good spot. Yeah. And then you have a, a comb for this fall out of that. Beard? Yes, that's for my beard. And then sorry. These had my sunglasses in them, but my sunglasses broke recently. Oh, but these are the what the flippy ones. No, they don't flip, but they do. That thing they does do come flip. off. They do flip. No, not those ones. Oh. Sorry to disappoint you. I thought they were the flippy ones, like on that show. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry to disappoint you with my glasses. Wait. Dryer sheets, always. Why do we have dryer sheets? Uh, to absorb, absorb, absorb <laughs> any excess moisture that's in my bag, like sweats and stuff. And then it doesn't smell? Yep. Oh, this is a good one. Wrist tape. Black for me, white for anybody who bitches at me that they didn't bring wrist tape and need to borrow some. I, yeah, I never that's use like white. The, like the main question in any locker room is like, do you have any wrist tape? Yeah. That's why uh, this is completely full. Ooh, undies. Yep, purple undies. Wait, are they extra or are you not wearing any right now? Like, okay, I have a singlet on. Why do I need undies under a singlet? It, already, I don't know. it holds everything in place. I, I don't know. Sir. I'm not a guy that knows these things. It's another mechanic shirt because I am the Matt mechanic. That says lubrication expert because it's funny. Okay. And now this is your street clothes or is this your game? Oh, that's street clothes. I like to show up looking similar to how I'm going to wrestle. That makes sense. Yeah. And then more tape? More tape. What's the, for the tape for your finger? The electrical tape is usually whatever my, my secondary color is. Today it's brown, so brown. Nice, nice. Also, and then you have your socks in your shoes. Yep, with some dryer sheets in there to absorb any of the moisture. Oh, so they're not smelly either. Yeah. That's always good. Cool. And then we have this thing. Those are for a different set of gear, but it goes with the brown, so it just stuck with the brown stuff. I have okay. gear in ten different uh, secondary colors. So. That's always good. I like That's to not. I like to be set up so I don't match who I'm wrestling, or I can match whoever the tag, whoever I might be taking. Right. There's nothing in there. That's completely. Really 
Because I didn't, I didn't need that side. Everything fit on one side. Literally. All right. Well, why would you have? So you have a hard shell bag, which I is do. also brown because you're here today. Yeah. <laughs> is that a thing too? Yeah. No, I don't have ten different sets of, of, of bags, but I have the brown bag, which is for outdoor shows and stuff, and then I have my silver bag, which is for my regular. Bag. Is it dirty? Like I have my good, I have my good stuff and my not so good stuff. Alright, so the absolute outside show is the ninth so good stuff. Yeah, because like, listen, I wear brown, it's outdoors, this isn't going to get messed up. But I have like, some like, really expensive custom gear that I don't want to get grass stains or dirt stains Very on. smart. Everybody should have like, multiple gear. So yeah. I, I have like, my low gear, and then I have my medium gear, and then I have my like, important gear. Ooh, yeah. like, like your big... Big, big match. Big match. Well, it was actually because I normally wear shorts, and then I had a pair of shorts that were uh, based on a character from Kingdom Hearts, and I wrestled two coat Scorpio, and he like like I explained to my character and stuff, and he explained to me that any mechanic he's ever gotten to hasn't worn cargo shorts, so I should probably think about getting pants. So I got pants. Smart. Smart. Never too old to wear. Right? So you're going to learn. So, what does every wrestler need in their wrestling bag? Every, what is every wrestler you need in it? Well, most wrestlers, I would say. Well, if we're not going with like the stereotypical shit, like tape, or boots, or proper footwear, I would say deodorant, because there's no deodorant in your bag, though. I I do have deodorant in my car. I pre deodoranted. And then you, I mean, I wouldn't do that. No, no but people. So I when I did uh, my bikini competition, like that's how the girls were like, because you could wear deodorant with the spray tan, so they would put this in their armpits like until it's time to go, and then so they wouldn't smell. Uh, it didn't really work for me. I mean, really how many girl. times have you walked into like a small wrestling locker room and you have that that funk of like ass? <laughs> and man balls. It's, <laughs> that it's very the sweaty smell. These are also really good to double as a uh, mosquito yeah. repellent. Ooh, if you nice. rub them on your skin, oh, mosquitoes so, will leave you alone. So you have a story. What did you forget? All right. So everything. Uh, years ago, I was, uh, for NWS, I was taking a road trip up to Connecticut with Nikki Ocean, Mike Quest, and Ref Tim. And I had stayed over Ref, Ref Tim's house the night before. Right. My bag all fully packed, everything ready to roll. We get up to Connecticut, realize that I left my bag in his room. <laughs> and we then had to go around to every single member of the locker room for it. Like, can I borrow your boots? Sure. Can I borrow your knee pads? Sure. So everybody in the locker room worked together to get me geared up that day. That is awesome. And it was well, pretty embarrassing. It's embarrassing, but it's good. It's a like, funny ever... story now, but back then I was horrified. <laughs> well, it's nice to know that everyone to be you, buddy. <laughs> well, this is an awesome time, and I love this shirt. I'm going to take it with me. Bye!